Hello everyone, welcome back to Black It's My Vice for Brooklyn Dunn, where I do reviews on products that I get from Black owned Small My Businesses. So today I went to an event called the Fashion Show Shopping and Expo. It was by Snatch Angels and it was hosted by Big Sexy from ATL, who is, I mean, his personality is just so so big <laughs> he is a very energetic and just funny so he knows how to work a room for sure um there was a fashion show i didn't get to stick around for it only because i had walked around um to pretty much like for this event it was basically for black owned businesses and just showcasing all of them and there were tons of businesses there and I, like these are all of the business cards that i collected um, because I couldn't obviously I couldn't purchase from everybody but there was just so many business there and just a variety of them at that I'm talking about lip gloss candles travel agents real estate agents book authors children book uh, book authors um you know desserts uh cooking um there was a guy who sold pickles in different flavors which by the way those pick I tried his jerk um jerk pineapple pickle where it's pretty much like flavor infused and it was so good i think it's called wanna pickle i'm gonna display the name across the screen so you definitely have to check him out i'm going to do a review on one of those pickle jars for sure but yeah it was just so many businesses and so um there was also a fashion show i didn't get to stick around for it only because it started a bit late and my feet were hurting because I had walked around to talk to so many businesses, like business owners, that by the time it started, I was just like, okay, I want to go home now. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure the fashion show um, was good. From the models that I saw, um, they were plus size and beautiful. And also I saw some kid models as well, and they were so adorable. But yeah, so for... Um, I love going to pop-up shops and just that's how I learn about different businesses. And one thing I want to say is that when you have a business, like you have to be able to be knowledgeable in what you're selling and also be a people person and having the energy to talk to people. I, I feel like... For me, like I will walk up to pretty much everyone. Oh, what do you sell? What do you sell? And I remember there were a few people that were just sitting there like, oh, this. And I'm like, maybe you were just burnt out. Maybe you're not a people person. And that I understand. But I feel like as a business owner, what like you have to be able to turn on and turn off. Like maybe you're really not an extrovert. You're not a people person. But if you're going to sell your products, you have to put yourself out there. Because me as a customer, why would I want to collect your business card? Why would I want to spend my money on you if you can't even take the time to like really speak to me? So I would just say that like people definitely have to learn how to sell their products, sell themselves and also be present in the moment and kind of just have that energy. Like that's that's the only thing I would say. If you're going to sign up for these pop-up shops, definitely do that for sure. Um, that's just like my that's just my take on it. But I came across a lot of businesses. I really wanted to like record it, but I also wanted to be in the moment and really just have a conversation. You know, what do you sell? Like, tell me about it, asking questions and, you know, okay, I'm going to follow up with you in a week and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, just a lot of, you know, good businesses I came across, but I wanted to talk about some of the products that I bought. So I'm going to start off with this book love reading um this book is called complicated tears and it's by a woman named precious Watkins. and so this is actually precious as a little girl so precious is an author um a keynote speaker a life coach and as you can see like on the book cover um it's pretty much like broken puzzle pieces so she told me to turn to page uh, 139 as you can see at the end um you know she's all put together by the end of it so she's like you know if you're ever a point in your life when you know you're trying to find yourself and figure things out um this pretty much this book is about like her life in a sense and how she put herself together and was able to find herself so i mean it's about 140 something pages so i feel like it'll be a quick read so i'm definitely going to review this um once I read it. So be on the lookout for that for all you book lovers. But yeah, I, I love supporting um, authors because I'm a bookworm. And my goal for this year is to read at least 10 to 20 books. Now, I haven't really been taking the time out to read because I've just been busy with life. 
but I'm re I think I'm working on book number two. Is it book number two or book number three right now? I don't know. This will be the next one though, <laughs> for sure. So there's that. The next <laughs> product. So I came, I walked up to a table and, you know, I was like, oh, what do you have here? Because I'm seeing shirts and hoodies. And the guy was like, oh, he starts introducing himself and he's talking and he's like, don't worry about the name. And I'm like, the name? And the name is X Drug Diddler. And I'm like, I didn't even see the name. I was just seeing the different colors of shirts and um, hoodies. And so basically, like he explained to me, and I'm just going to read the message statement so um, it can make sense. So sometimes we are afraid to close chapters in our lives. At times, we are afraid to embrace our past. Embracing um, and the ability to say I made it through is the meaning in the X. Overcoming all things is the mental strength. So pretty much overcoming your past you know putting the bad days behind you but also acknowledging it like yeah this is what i did but this is what i'm trying to do now so i was like okay and it was actually their first uh pop-up shop so i was like okay you know what? i'll go ahead and support so they had an array of colors i feel like a lot of times when people do um t-shirts and hoodies they stick to the grays the whites the the blacks maybe like a brown or a red a blue for sure and then that's about it whereas this like it's teal there were pink there was like a peach there was an orange um there were different colors so yeah but i'm like x drug dealer now i think i'm <laughs> i don't know if i i wouldn't wear this to work or a job interview for sure because then you have asked questions but i honestly like the the meaning and the mission behind this um they're definitely they're mind you they're just starting out so you know all the shirts and you know hoodies and hats say ex drug dealer for now but you know they plan to expand in the future so yeah definitely check them out um the website is called shop bro shit <laughs> you have to love men um okay so that's that the next business so there's a woman by the name of Michelle Warren and she has her own um, natural hair care line and it's called um, Shelly Bells. Yeah, Shelly Bells. So this was the business card. And um, so Michelle has been a um, hairstylist, I think she said for the past 22 years. And she is based out of Chicago now because she saw that, you know, I have locks um she's like she does do locks and also um I told her that I struggle with dandruff mind you I was struggling with dandruff before I locked my hair so and it's just something like ups and downs um my scalp is at to the point where it's not itching a lot like when it comes to um like because with dandruff it would be dry and itchy but now it's like my scalp isn't that way anymore although I do see still see dandruff um so things are getting better we're not quite there yet, but she recommended her serum to me and she did offer a discount, but I still pay full price regardless. So yeah, I am going to review this for sure. And I actually might just go ahead and buy her shampoo and conditioner as well, just to round things out instead of using one product, you know, at least get three or four to try it out for sure. But yeah, definitely gonna have to hit her up. Uh, for more products and maybe to do my hair right now i mean it seems like a lot of people uh who do locks like they do charge <laughs> like a bill um uh, by that i mean like a hundred dollars or more so i'm like it's cheaper for me to just do my hair myself but i think like if i'm really wanting to spoil myself or it's like a special occasion like for example for my birthday i'm definitely gonna go to somebody so i might just check her out for that uh, there is a business called Soul Language Candles. Now, um, <laughs> I feel like sometimes with pop-up shops, I don't always want people to give me a bag, especially when a product is small. So this is a car diffuser and this was a sample um, room spray. And so because it was so small, I already had a bag. So I just top, like put it in a bag and it took me a minute to find her business card because <laughs> I took it and threw it in another bag. And I was like, okay, let me... I think I think it's this one and then went on a website and found the same product. So I was like, okay, thank God. Um, so yes, yeah, Soul Language Candles. So she sells um candles, it looks like candle melts, among other things. And so this, I mean, it even says it here, it's a car perfume. 
So for it, um, she said it does come with a cork. So all I would have to do is take the cork off and then screw it back on and I would just be able to hang this in my car. So I am going to test this out because I bought, I think I went to an expo, like the event I went to in January for my last video. Um, There was a woman who sold candles and she also, it was like little bags of um, these little scented beads and you could put it in your car and so I've had it in my car since I bought it. So it's been about a month and a half now. So that smell is starting to fade. So I think once that smell fades, I'm going to use this. Now for the sample room spray, this smells good. Both of these actually smell the same. But for this, I sprayed it on my couch. And I think I sprayed it. Let's see, one, two, three. I probably sprayed it about three times, like just to cover the couch. And I probably shouldn't have sprayed it that much because the is very concentrated. Um, less is more for sure. And it smells good. And I'm like, after spraying it, I could just smell it throughout my living room. So I'm gonna have to hear her up for this uh, room spray because I saw on her website it's about $10.99. So $11 for the size that she's selling it for is it looks like it's worth the price or I'm sorry, it is worth the price um, of the size and what she's selling it for. So definitely gonna have to check that out. Next product. So I love a good cake jar. Love a good cake jar. And this business card is different. I haven't seen one that's see-through. So for this, it's called uh, Visions of Sweets. And so there were um, chocolate covered strawberries, like um, different flavors, I guess, of chocolate. Um, she was selling cake jars with um, this one is obviously you can tell it's oreo but um her daughter said the strawberry one was her favorite and i'm like ah i'm in a chocolate mood today so i got this one but she had peach cobbler red velvet different kinds so i'm gonna go ahead and try this out now because oh it's a little oreo right here you see it i probably should have got a smaller spoon but it is what it is so let's see oh do you see the layering on that okay Oh my God. Wow. Um, okay, so we have the cake. Um, I feel like the top layering of it, there's all this white part. Like they took Oreos and scooped out the filling and turned that into a mousse and put it on top. That's how this tastes. So it's definitely giving Oreo. I wish it was kind of layered more like you can kind of see how it's layered well on the side that i didn't eat <laughs> you can kind of see how it's layered but i feel like there should have been more cake because as you can see this here i feel like there's you know cake at the bottom and then you have this part and um, i feel like she should have added more cake before adding on this mousse because i it's just it's sweet um I feel like as a kid, I would be like, oh my God, it's sweet. But as an adult, I don't necessarily like things that are overly sweet. Not to say that it is, but because it, it doesn't seem like it's balanced enough between the cake and like the, the mousse or filling ratio, it kind of throws it off just a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna finish this later. Okay, for the last business, it's called Succulent uh, Natural Products. So this is... Like the logo for it <clears throat> and so for this woman she sells um whipped body butter and she also sells um sugar scrubs you can see what that looks like Ooh, let me be careful i want to spill that out and then also candles so <clears throat> I bought the uh, shea butter and the sugar scrub and she threw in a candle for free, which was nice. Uh, for the candle, it has sage in it. Oh, this smells good. And I love the smell of sage. I I don't know what other scent this is and I, I didn't ask. Let's see, is it on the bottom of? No, it's not on the bottom of the candle, but either way, I'm gonna burn this. It smells good. Um, So for the body butter and the sugar scrub, they're both lemongrass and I feel like for me lemongrass is one of those scents like if you don't know what it smells like it's it's not just lemony it's I don't know <clears throat> lemongrass is one of those scents where it could be overbearing and 
it's like a hit or miss and she made it a hit because normally I don't necessarily like the smell of lemongrass but I like the way she did it if that makes sense like it's well balanced so I am definitely going to try both of these out and do a review on it uh for sure and hit her up if I'm in love with it because the way that the whipped butter was just kind of gliding like you see the way this is and then if I just how it comes off you don't even need a lot like you see the i don't know if you can see the shine on that versus my hand here and versus like that damn am i ashy like you got me all shiny right here let me moisturize the other side <laughs> but i feel like you don't even really need a lot come to think of it you know get the elbows you get my other elbow too come to think of it as black people we have moisturized for sure but with this it smells so good like she's making me fall in love with lemongrass yeah i'm gonna have to hit her up for more of this for sure she had like different scents and you know they were definitely like fruity and i didn't really smell the other ones that she had so you'll have to check out her website for sure and i'm just gonna leave the information Okay, so that was my review on the products that I got today at the Fashion Show Shopping and Expo. I hope you all liked it. Definitely check out the websites. I am going to plug all of the information for each of the products that I bought and showed you all here in the description box below. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Bye!